Hey everyone, the good Sir Knight here today with a special guest, Kenji. Say hi, Kenji. <clears throat> this is actually hard in a plate carrier. This is a terrible idea. But it's Kenji. Look, Kenji you can see yourself too. <laughs> He's a happy baby. He was born on the 27th, so wanted to debut to him. So I've been putting out a lot of videos lately, and uh, yeah, this little guy's why. Isn't he adorable though? Look at him. He doesn't like this at all. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, as you might be imagining right now, I am pretty goddamn happy, so. So, um, today, welcome to episode three of, I don't know, the Good Night Show, whatever we're calling it. It's a party, so I just got off work, which is why I'm in this shirt. There's a typhoon today, typhoon 18, or whatever they call it elsewhere. Japan uses numbers, fun fact, so there's that, and uh, so I got my plate carrier on. I've modified it quite a bit lately, so I've got a tourniquet and an extra magazine on the side here, and a grenade pouch and an IFAC. I want to do something with the Camelback, I put in an order for a, uh, was it, Warrior Salt Systems modular assault pack, but that will be in in due time, so looking forward to that, pretty excited, gonna swap this out with that and make things happen. Got my fancy magazines, and my America, and Safari Zone, no poaching. So, yeah, initially I wasn't gonna actually bring Ken I was gonna show you guys this lovely picture we took, Finn Chillaxin. He's actually pretty well behaved for a baby, so there's that, and uh, so, anyway, we're doing our shows, and it's about anything and everything I want. My baby's looking good, isn't she? You got my laser. Combat strobe. And Bushnell. Dot sight. Red dot sight. So, pretty simple, basic setup. Good CQV and everything. Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew. It's light. I, this is actually a Knight's Armament broomstick here. So, the Stoner Rifle, also Knight's Armament. The Good Sir Knight. And I'm just saying, if you guys want to sponsor me, I'm. Not opposed to the idea. All in favor of it. So I've got a bunch of punt pens of energy because I've been working and I'm in a fantastic mood for some reason. So uh, what happened for yesterday? Oh yeah. So all that aside, we. So I actually got my uh, my battle belt all nice and together with optional grenade pouches. Can't really decide because I can throw all my grenades in here. But this is a bit of extra weight and bulk, and I don't know, maybe I'll throw it back on the belt. I don't think it looks bad, it sits nicely here. I use the access to grenades, so, eh, I'll probably keep it. <clears throat> I do like it, I'll put it back on later, because I'm lazy, so. Uh, what else is I? Oh yeah, so. After hanging out with uh, my good buddy uh, John for a bit, he actually has his own uh, YouTube channel going on. You should check that out, it is, um, what was it? Tesla Gojira Gaming. It's a bit of a name. There's some kanji in there as well as English, so it makes it a bit more difficult to find. However, <clears throat> if you're into Let's Plays and stuff, me and him have been hanging out and doing a few things. I haven't really made a lot, but I've helped him out a bit, made his intro. So yeah, that is me in the intro, which surprisingly successful considering I was trying a few different things. They weren't really working, so I was like, <clears throat> okay, I'll go with a more uh, sort of jungle bee because he's a big Tarzan fan. And uh, yeah, I just put a few things together and... Uh, I happened to get my voice to uh, shake angrily at just the right moment to where it came out perfect, so it's actually came into a pretty interesting intro. A lot of people seem to like it, so happy with that. It's actually pretty glad about that. So I tried to help me make a knife review, and it went okay. I made my own parody knife review thing, which I'll be uploading whenever his knife review is ready. Actually, I could probably upload it right now and just actually make it live whenever he's ready. So there's that. This plate here is really comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Not work all day. So I'm just having a good time. Oh, what else is there? So, knives, knife wise, actually, I have a few knives I can show you guys. So, it's gonna be making things a bit interesting. Let me move this over this way. Guys, come closer. Come closer. No secrets. It's closer. Too close. No, no, no. Right first. Don't you know that? Like that. Like that. So, well, I'm sorry about that. I had to do a quick cut. A few, uh, a few things came up. I had to check out and see that everything's together. So, where was I? Oh yeah, so John. John did his channel with his little knife review. Things didn't go over so well. We're still working on that. So I made a parody. What was my train of thought? Yeah, I got really distracted a few things. 
happened real quick. Uh, work, work's been pretty well. Working in a little hotel, people coming in all the time. Meet a bunch of interesting people. It's pretty, pretty nifty. I'm enjoying it. So everything's going well. I haven't had a chance to play airsoft in quite some time, so that's on the to-do list. And Kenji's healthy. So yeah, it's mostly just been baby time and everything. So hotel jump's pretty legit. I mean, the typhoon. Pretty much kept a lot of customers from coming, so it was mostly me hanging out with coworkers and making stuff happen. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Ugh, I do really like this rifle, by the way. Cowboy Bebop. Show that every time. You cannot stop me. It's comfy, comfy little rifle. It's pretty accurate too. Just gotta make a few uh, adjustments. I still have to sight it back in, but the laser and everything should be spot on. So we'll test that out in due time. So what else did I forget? Oh yeah, so continuing on with the Good Sir Night show. I don't know if you guys have been watching or not, but there's the whole um, whole YouTube changes and everything going down. So for you, those of you who know, hey, awesome, good, you're staying on top of politics and all that. For those of you who don't know, however, there's been a few, uh, a few changes and issues that, I mean, it's a big thing for the people who are making YouTube videos. And if you're not and you like to watch them, however, that's good information to know. So here's what is going down now initially youtube changed their terms of uh terms of use terms of service all that good stuff basically the and the agreement and everything so they basically once said that uh, pretty much what they're doing is if your video contains certain offensive things such as vulgarities or things that can be deemed uh in poor taste so to speak it's pretty much anything and everything huge open door policy they basically said hey if you use profanity, then oh, your channel's fucked. Sorry. They're not going to monetize it. So they put in these policies and everything, saying if your videos are offensive, then pfft, sucks to be you now. That was a pretty pretty big issue. They hit a few videos, some of the more popular channels, but not a lot. I noticed that Markiplier and uh, Harshly Critical and a few people have not been affected. So... However, there are other channels like, um, oh, who was it? And the uh, Foamy of the Squirrel channel has definitely been hit and lost a lot of monetization. Now, a lot of people didn't care too much because how are they going to enforce it is a whole other story. It's like, well, they have their own algorithms and stuff, but they're fickle and iffy at best. So we don't really know if they're going to be able to intercept everyone and cause problems with monetization. No, 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 no. So a lot of people didn't really care. So come in as of recently their whole enforcement plan which is an SJW social justice warriors wet dream which is that they have a thing called YouTube's heroes now this really ties into the one country's terrorist is another country's hero sort of mentality because what this does is it enables pretty much certain and pretty practically anyone to become a YouTube hero and it gets a few things it's like hey you know contribute subtitles kind of help YouTube be better it's a cool place we will make it better but you also mass report any video that you pretty much don't like for any reason the AI is working pretty much on the war game scenario it doesn't really care it does whatever it wants so we need actual people going through and mass reporting videos so the concept basically is that they will be able to get people who are like hey something something nazism something something racism something something there's and it's like okay well yeah these people are kind of being douches so let's uh let's go ahead and take care of that but but it's practically anything offensive which means this this is offensive to some people because it looks like a real gun it looks like a bang bang, oh no, people are dead scenario. Not a, oh, this will save your life someday. No, it's evil. Evil. So, this video alone, just holding this, they can mass report it. The fact that I'm talking about their policies of mass reporting, they can mass report it. If I say, if I say something like, oh, I mean, this video is probably gonna, not going to get monetized with the way it's going anyway, but let's say I say that, um, why do we need feminism if everyone's equal? Why don't we call it egalitarianism or something that does mean, hey, people are equal in a certain, to a certain degree and extent. Not like, well, this guy works harder, but this guy doesn't work at all, so they're equal now. Guy who works harder kind of deserves it. 
Oh, I'm trying not to make it super political, but yeah, basically they block any and every video. So if you have a, uh, if you just say, oh gosh darn, something like, gosh darn is offensive. You watch your tongue, young man, you whippersnapper. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much out of control is the problem. So how it's going to go over, I mean, it's not even just like these things. It's like SJWs are going to have this power. People who go out for the sake of being offended. People who take the fact that they're offended by everything and people go, hey man, you're, why are you offended by everything? And they go, why do you mean I'm offended by everything? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's out of control. It's, it's going to be bad. It's basically going to So pretty much, I don't know how well this channel is going to do with that going on because, I don't know. I try to be polite, but there are things that just mm, make my skin crawl and that is among them. So I like I like my rifle. It's, it's a good rifle. It doesn't it doesn't betray me. Sometimes it made me breakfast the other day. It's not a bad guy. It's, it's misunderstood. Like Harambe was misunderstood when they dropped a kid in his pit. My kid's hairy, by the way. I don't know if you saw his arms. He's got hairy arms and hairy legs. So clearly my daily devotions to our Lord Harambe have led my son to be blessed. So I can only expect great things from him from here on out. So, oh no. So yeah, Harambe. I actually ordered a patch. It actually should be here. I need to go pick it up. The uh, dicks out for Harambe patch. I'm actually really excited to show you guys. So if you're wondering, this patch is from Takamine. This patch is from Takamine. This is the one I think it is yet. Yeah. No, that's not it. No, never mind. This one's from Weapons of Most of these from Weapons of Great waifu Waifus, but Takamine's patches are pretty cool. So, yeah. I should probably start spon well, not sponsoring, but definitely advertising them because they make some fantastic patches. Lots of good patches, really. And apparently they're not all that well known like I expected them to be. So, Weapons of Great Waifus. Check them out. Good stuff. Love their work. Uh, what else? Baby, guns, everything's offensive. Yeah, so pretty much the way I'm enforcing it is to give a bunch of people this, hey, do you want to be a hero and help out our phenomenal YouTube not a regime? So yeah, that's that's going on now. And a lot of people are pretty upset, understandably so. It's pretty dumb. I mean, there's the degree to what they should enforce. Obviously, there are some things that are unpalatable in every situation. There's things that are very selective, like rifle or profanity. You can't really have a Marine Corps without profanity. I mean, I could hold a beer right now, and I'm sure someone will be offended by me holding a beer. Someone. Someone's always going to be offended. So it's kind of frustrating, so I'm getting at. It's frustrating, and it's dumb. And I don't know, maybe if you're going after people mass uploading movies and stuff, but even then you're in a really gray area of what's considered legal and legal. There's bootlegs and I don't know. If you ask me, I'd be more concerned with people who are not only just uploading certain videos, but let's say, oh, they have Fantasia uploaded somewhere. Not, not so much just that they have Fantasia, but I mean, a lot of people are gonna argue that you can have mass viewings with schools and everything anyway. But additionally, you're going to have a, I was going, I was going somewhere with this rant. Fantasia, yes, yeah, so you have Fantasia uploaded, but it's not just that they have Fantasia on YouTube that's bothersome, it's that they have a adverti an ad popping up every 30 seconds so that they can attempt to make money off of other people's work. That's pretty messed up. Uploading Fantasia, I don't care so much. I'm sure Disney cares. I don't care so much. But yeah, when, when they start doing the whole... They want to get paid for Disney's work, that's messed up. I mean, even Disney should be making money for their hard work, so... I don't know. I'm just a guy with a camera. A guy with a camera and internet access. What do I know? So yeah, that's pretty frustrating. Speaking of, I'm trying to avoid getting political here because politics are the bane of existence. Politicians are the scum of the earth. Is all it comes down to. So I was actually talking to a few of my different friends and I have different friends from all different political and ideological backgrounds. Everything, pretty much. Apparently I'm just an easy guy to get along with for the most part. Anyway, talking to a bunch of my friends, it kind of I noticed something, something interesting that I don't think too many people think about, and which is why I was thinking about it. Put my, my baby down over here. Not the physical baby, but my other baby. So what I was thinking about was looking at all these different things. So you have like 
they're more authoritarian sort of groups and you're more liberal sort of group, right? So you got authoritarian and uh, liberal. And so you got the pretty much basic idea, but depending on where you fall on the spectrum, and it really affects how you look at the other group. So let's look at it this way. So <clears throat> if someone comes to you and they tell you they're authoritarian, well, a lot of people don't really look that most people are generally trying to stay towards the center sort of middle ground. And if something's happening on one side, they try to bring in their own sense to balance it out, which is good. But, but no one wants to realize the middle ground thing. So they think only in extremes. So if you tell someone that you're more liberal or actually even let's just go with libertarian. Let's say you want to be libertarian. So all the freedom to do whatever you want. It's kind of what it gets down to. So what you're going for is basically you want to keep the fruits of your labor. You want to reduce tax. You want people to really kind of get out and do their own thing. You want government to kind of, you know, ease off, not be too controlling and taking over everything. And you basically want, you want to have some freedom. You want to be able to do your own business stuff. I mean, there's a few issues with where, with where you're going to get resources and how everything's going to work and the fact that going for the best possible deal can delay you from taking a reasonable deal now. But all that aside, let's just say you're going to have a more, you want to be more free, basically. You want to have your liberties. You want to have your guns and all your good stuff. Well, yes, that's kind of cool. And if you're doing that, if someone comes to you and they're like, well, I think we need to be a bit more authoritarian. You know, the immediate thought a lot of people have is they go, what? Authoritarian? You want thought police? You want people coming through your homes and making sure you're not being a terrorist and building bombs and putting drugs and candy and... Yes. All those sorts of stuff. They basically think you want Nazis marching down the street, which is fascism, by the way. And they're marching down the street with all sorts of guns and being like, ah, you need to do things our way or you go to the gulag. No. It's bad. No, that's generally what they want. I mean, that's an extreme degree of, authorita of authoritarian, yes. But generally when people say they're being more authoritarian, basically what they're getting at, from what I've noticed, is that, they, is that if they see someone throw a cigarette butt in the middle of the street and, you know, just basically pollute and everything and be completely undisciplined fucks is what they're really getting at. They want to be able to be able to pretty much come in and be like, hey, you just threw a cigarette on the ground. How about you pick that up before I get upset? Because that is disrespectful to society. That's what they're getting at when they say authoritarian. They just want you to be a somewhat law-abiding citizen. And of course, when you get the more libertarian side, let's say the government is getting out of control and doing things it shouldn't be doing, like, I don't know, let's say they're doing phone taps illegally for no reason whatsoever. Or they're just pretty much running rampant, which, against the Constitution, right, privacy, freedom, to certain extents. And then the government's just getting out of control, and the government's like, hey, it's not pick up your cigarette, it's that you can't be in this public park when I tell you you can't be. You have to be in your home. You have to be in your bed. You have to do what I tell you. If you want fattening food, we can't have fattening food. You will go to your required educational classes. You will get re-educated, China, if you start thinking really freely. So, that's too much. That's when you want to have more of the freedom-based mentality of, nah, you can't do this. Where's, where's my rifle? Yeah, I, I took our rifle as well. We're not a free country anymore. So, yeah, it gets pretty out of control. Anyway, without getting into anyone's political ideology, I'm just saying there's those two different degrees and how they view each other is generally way different. And generally what most people want is to be close to the center. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be like, well, I think we should have all of our freedoms and be able to do things and do labors. But yeah, people shouldn't be polluting. So what people get into is the authoritarian is a bunch of war hungry, control the population by all means and to include physical force and violence. And then the more libertarian part, honestly, if you look at the libertarian and you take it to the far extreme, it's, it's anarchy. It's pretty much what it comes down to is just straight anarchy, no law. If you all of you have your place, you have to go with a non-aggression pact. But a lot of human nature is people are gonna do whatever they can to not work. So there's that. So fun things to consider. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I've got 
work again tomorrow and go run through a bunch of thoughts with my coworkers. And the moral of the story is my son is awesome, and I just want to play airsoft. It's it's been too long, everyone. It's been too long. Look at me. I'm a bleeding heart here. This is my love of airsoft, bright red and vibrant for the world to see. And I'm not playing right now. So, actually, can I attach this? My... <gasps> Dude, check it out. Bam! Blood scarf. Welcome to Cambodia. Boom! So, anyway, I've rambled on. Well, not really aimlessly. I thought it was a pretty good conversation. Oh! I almost forgot. Well, I'm still bleeding out over here. I found Splatoon candy. This is, this is, this is, uh, is it like candy. Splatoon candy. Splatoon candy. Splatoon candy. So, yeah, Splatoon candy. It's these little candies. Like this thing. Grape. And what is it? We got melon soda, orange. Grape and cider flavors. And they come with little stickers. I think it's cool. I can think it's cool if I want to. You don't control me. No one controls me. I control me. Actually, I don't even control me. No one controls me. Pulls little levers and makes me do things and do what I want. Come at me. Let's go, right now. Come on. I haven't slept in like three days. I'm ready. I'm amped. You're not ready. You're not ready. Maybe another day, but not today. So, stay chivalrous, everyone. And remember to bleed red, white, and blue. God bless America. Praise Arambe.